Alright everybody, so in one of the videos I posted on here, I basically told y'all that I was born in San Diego, and I live in Oklahoma, and I felt like I was representing three areas. Let me explain that to y'all real quick, because I know some people sit there and say it's not where you're from, it's where you at, and some people might be born in one spot, but they've been living in another spot for so long, so they claim that spot. I'm claiming three places. Me. I'm doing that because I'm going to do it. I don't care what everyone else thinks. Born in San Diego. Raised there till I was 10 for the most part. Absolutely love San Diego, California. I love LA as well because I got family out there. That whole area. The weather is great. The women are extremely beautiful. The beaches are hot. Outdoor basketball is off the chain. It gets a little violent sometimes. Don't Don't get it wrong. But it's absolutely lovely out there. The scene and everything out there is just lovely. You know, the violence out there, of course... Can, it can be pretty bad, but there's violence everywhere, and you know, them 92 riots, they just showed you real quick, we will fuck some shit up, we will, cross us and we will fuck some shit up, but, that aside, like I said, I'm definitely a uh, hometown boy, even, even being in Oklahoma as long as I have been, people still ask me where I'm from, that just lets me know that San Diego is just not leaving me. California is just not leaving me. That's who I am. That's where I was born. That's where everything started for me. So that's me. In the process of living in San Diego, my mother moved to Louisiana. Gramlin, Louisiana. So shout out to Gramlin State. And Gramlin out there. You know, Gramlin's in me because that's when hip-hop for me started really picking up. That's when music in general for me started really picking up. When I was a baby till I was about maybe four or five, in our household, all we really listened to and all we really had was like, you know, gospel music and maybe a little R&B or a little bit of like soul music from the 70s. So if it wasn't like the Winans or the Clark Sisters or, you know, Vanessa Bell Calloway or people like that, then it was um, Earth, Wind & Fire, it was Shaka Khan, it was Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks. It was um, Tina Marie and Rick James and people like that playing the house until I was like four or five. So once we moved to Grambling for my mom to be able to go to school, once we moved out there, that's when the whole element of something new for me started coming in, which was hip hop and R and B. But it was really for the most part like hip hop. You know, my mom was a, a a DJ for for the campus radio station out there, so. It was music being played all in the house. Hip hop, R and B, band, of course, because Gremlins band. Anyone who's ever heard Gremlins band or heard a band comparable with a Gremlins, like maybe a Southern or something, knows that the bands down there do not play. They are serious with theirs. So, you know, I was introduced to the band element. You know, you couldn't help but walking home from school. I went to Alma J. Brown Elementary out there, so you couldn't help. But come walking home from school or catching a bus from school, passing university or passing the uh, the uh, stadium out there, and hearing the band going at it every day, you couldn't help but hear, especially during football season. But you just could not help but hear, and so that was a different element. But hip hop, you know, I grew up when you know Rhapsody first started coming out when it was first still hot. With the I think the dude's name was uh, Chris Thomas when he was the host out there. That was something for me. That was new to me. It was an element that I started picking up on. But that's when, you know, the MC Lights, the Rock Hymns, the Big Daddy Kane's, the Chub Rocks, Special Ed, um, EPMD, Run DMC, um, NWA was just getting cracking out there. Um, Ghetto Boys was just getting cracking. Um, who else was I was listening to? Moni Love, Queen Latifah, um, Public Enemy, all these different influences of hip hop you know of course Luke was really the only person other than the ghetto boys really representing the south but it was just so many different elements to hip hop that that's what was helping me pick it up so I was introduced to that I was introduced to R&B and you know the new additions the Whitney Houston's uh, all different types of groups and all different types of artists and my mom was real big on reggae also she was real big into the Marley's whether it was Ziggy Marley or Bob Marley it didn't matter she was heavy on that all day also. So, but Gremlin is where the music influences that I started really picking up on and started really getting interested in, which was hip-hop and R&B, started coming out for me.
and of course the band influence you couldn't help that so that was another thing for me as well so I'm always going to rep Grambling Louisiana to the fullest if they schools or anything are out doing something positive I'm always like you know big ups to Grambling because like I, like I said if it wasn't for Grambling if it wasn't for living in Louisiana at that time if it wasn't for constantly walking past and listening to the band playing every day and hearing that influence and that tradition I probably wouldn't be as musically inclined and musically favored as I am right now so that's the other thing and then I claim Oklahoma because Oklahoma is where I started getting into the professional scene the actual owning your own studio going to the studio consistently started really picking up on writing and paying more attention to music as, and, and in that sense and you know having my own little small circle of you know people that always bounced ideas musically back and forth so Oklahoma is where I basically started the whole professional idea of doing music and so that's why I have to claim Oklahoma so I'm claiming three areas west coast midwest down south fuck how you feel fuck what you're thinking I'm claiming them three till forever because without one of them I would be a totally different person musically.